facilitating your questionnaire today. Yeah, it's so nice to meet you. What was your name again? Perfect, I remember you. So, as you know, here at VASO, also known as Build a Significant Other, we build significant others, whether that's for true love or you need a fake boyfriend, fake girlfriend, we have you covered. All right. So, I saw in your paperwork that you're wanting to take advantage of our fake significant other builder, is that correct? Alright, I just wanted to check. We do have a 94% satisfaction rate for matchmaking people with an actor or an actress to pretend to be your fake significant other, but we also have a 96% satisfaction rate for matchmaking people with their true love, so if you ever change your mind... <laughs> Alright, perfect. You just want to jump right into the questions? Absolutely. Some of these questions might be a little bit personal, but it's just so we can really get the actor or actress that you choose, um, you know, that they, they know about your life and they can really play the job well. Yes, we want them to be very convincing. Of course. So, the first question that I have, I just need your name, which you already told me, but I need to know how to spell. Do you have any nicknames that you prefer to go by? Alright, and what is your address? your email. Alright, uh, what is your age and your birthday? Okay. Right. Uh, so what is your gender identity preference for you? the gender preference for your significant other that we will be hiring. Alright. Now, the first thing that I have to ask is, is there a specific event that um, your significant other is... Yeah. Oh, a holiday event with family. Oh, those are very popular ones. Dinners can be quite daunting and parents can be difficult sometimes, am I right? <laughs> Alright, if you could just tell me a little bit more about this event, I will get that on here. Okay. Alright, so it's a dinner. common reasons that people come to us is their parents are hounding them about their significant other and um, sometimes people make them up or sometimes a breakup happens right before and you don't want to disappoint them. Yeah, so it's, this is totally normal. <laughs> oh, okay. That could be romantic, okay. snowy, that's good to know. Um, now we need to know about the time frame. How long are you wanting to pull this ruse? Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, how serious is this, um, fake relationship? parents yet? You have. Okay. Oh, yes. Seven months. All right. Yes, and you know, 
I just want you to know you don't have to be embarrassed or ashamed. Yeah, I know this happens all the time. Sometimes we just, you know, tell a few little white lies here and there, and then suddenly you have to meet this little white lie, and yeah, that's what we're here for. Yes. <laughs> all right, now, this is a fun question, but how would you two have liked to meet? Yeah. Love at first sight for you two. Alright. You click pretty fast? Okay. Now, especially since this is regarding your parents, this is an important question because they will be asking both of you. Um, are you guys talking about engagement? You are. Okay. Now, is physical affection okay? Um, describe what you're okay with and what you're not. Um, we really want to make sure that uh, we as a company as well as the actor or actress is really respectful of your boundaries and what you're okay with and what you're not. So um, they won't go any farther than what you say on the list. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, you do want it to be convincing. Of course, I understand that. significant other? Okay. Okay. Um, and I will just, I will just say that we have a very wide database to look for actors and actresses, so we should be able to find somebody that meets your criteria, what you need. Um, it may not be exactly perfect, but if uh, the physical part is very, very, very important that it looks a certain way because perhaps you've described this person in that way to your parents or something like that just let me know and i will make sure to make a note of that, that the physical appearance is very important but if you know there's some wiggle room just let me know that as well okay so it doesn't matter too much okay okay so um what is the build that you would like for your significant other ideally <laughs> i understand Um, do you have a preference for hair color? Okay. Hair length. I have a well cupped, I understand. Hair style, like wavy, curly. Okay. Um, what about eye color? Are you okay with tattoos? Do you prefer tattoos? Do you not want any tattoos on them? Okay, no tattoos. Oh, for your parents. Yeah, you want to impress them. I understand. Um, what kind of outfits do they wear on a daily basis? Since this is something that you are need to keep on for more than, you know, just one day. Classy, I understand. All right, now, what do they wear to nice events? You know, for instance, this fancy dinner. Okay. Okay. Um, now, where do you work? This is a lot of so the person that's going to be acting knows and they're not surprised when, for instance, your parents ask, oh, so did you meet her in school? Do you meet him in school? Things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And how long do you work? 
Are you part time, full time? Okay. Um, what is your salary if you don't mind my asking? Okay. And is there a certain job that you would like this person to have? full-time, part-time. Alright, what kind of salary do they make? Well, that's very respectable. <laughs> yes. Uh, what schools did you go to? specific schools that you would have liked this person to go to. Okay. Okay. I mean, might as well play it up, right? <laughs> what did you get your degree? me for that kind of a job it's gonna yeah I was gonna say okay how old is this person okay a little bit older okay um where did you grow up All right and where did they grow up is do you have a preference for that or would you like them to just make it up Are you close with your family? Alright. Then, are they close with family? Nothing to add for that? Okay. Um, do you two have any pet nicknames or names for each other? Okay, I'd like them to call you that. Sure, a lot of people just um, were so really babe or sweetheart, but um, if there's any like specific names you want to do and have fun with it, go for it, you know? Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Um, do they like to play sports or do they like sports in general? Are they a sports person? Okay. Um, do they like to or do they like music? Do you like to play sports or like watching sports? Okay. And do you like or do you play music? Okay. Do you drink alcohol? Okay. And how often is it um, like socially kind of, um, you know? Okay. Do they drink alcohol?
Now, what is your um, religion? Okay. What is their religion? Okay. And what are your political views? Because we always want to put this, especially if there's any family things. Um, politics can kind of be a topic of conversation that people want to avoid, but um, sometimes it it shows and we just want to make sure that we're on the same page for whatever you want. Okay. So their political views are... Okay. Do you like animals? Do they like or have animals? Okay. And do you... I, I forgot to ask. Do you have any animals? No. Okay. Um, what are your hobbies? Professionally, you're just struggling. Okay. I'll just make sure to put a note of that. Um, what are their hobbies? Yeah, there's, um, there's a lot of options. I would suggest for this type of person, um, I would suggest that they probably don't have as many hobbies, um, only because of their work schedule, if they're working as much as they are. Um, but I would definitely say that they probably care about the community, so maybe they do some community work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, something that um, puts a lot of purpose and um, maybe even something a little like analytical, like, I don't know, yeah. Oh, that's a great one, yeah. skills or talent, like maybe you mentioned that they were a great cook or something like that. Okay. Yeah, of course, um, you know, there's only so many things that we can do because we do have a limited amount of actors and actresses, but um, if there's anything that they absolutely need, it can help us to narrow down. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a really great one. Yeah, it would be great if they could dance or something. You know how to dance. That's awesome. Um, would you like to list three adjectives that describe you? Okay. And three adjectives that would describe them. But it just 
kind of gives us insight into what kind of a person this is. But when they fly, do they fly in the regular seating area or do they go first class? Okay, that's what I was thinking too. Um, do you enjoy the outdoors? Alright. Do they enjoy the outdoors? Yeah. Okay. What is your favorite food? specific, but I like it. Okay. Okay. What are your favorite TV shows and movies? Okay. Alright, now what are their favorite TV shows or movies? Inside that, right? That's fine. What is your favorite musical genre? Okay. Now, what is their favorite musical genre? Okay, same as yours. Okay, yeah, that's a great one to add. As far as, um, I feel like I know the answer to this one just based off of everything else, but would you call them more like the person next door or a little bit more rebellious and like that kind of unpredictable, almost like, you know, bad boy, bad girl type vibe? Right, that's what I thought. <laughs> now, are you a planner or do you go with the flow? Okay. Are they a planner or do they go with the flow? any quirks that you want to give them personality to. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, now as far as um, topics of conversation, are there any topics that we should be aware of that this person should avoid when talking to either you, family, friends. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. A lot of people say that. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is their sense of humor like? Okay. Um, on the hypothetical dates, who's the one who generally pays? Okay. Mm hmm Okay. Now, I don't like this terminology just because I feel like it's so outdated, but for the sake of this, who wears the pants in the relationship, so to speak? Like, are decisions made equally between you, or do they do a little bit more? How? What's the dynamic of the relationship? Okay. Yeah. Um, are you wanting a public proposal? Okay. Um, based on that answer, I assume I know this one, but... Will there be a public breakup? Or is it going to be a breakup that is just mentioned? For whenever you do break up. Um, the last 
last question I have. Um, is there anything the actor or actress needs to know about the event? Family, what do you expect? Attire, proposals, fights, breakups, etc. This is your time to let us know anything else that we would possibly need to know and possibly tell the actor or actress. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a multiple day event. Okay, thank you. I do always suggest that just because it's a good icebreaker and kind of, um, you feel like you know them a little bit more, which is always really important when you're trying to play a part or something. As much as these people are actors, you're also acting as well. Alright. Well, I believe those are all the questions that I have. Um, yeah, there is a meeting, um, if you can choose to go, um, after we get the person that I think would be the perfect fit this date. Um, there's the option to meet them beforehand, which I always do recommend, but if you guys are writing together to the event, um, I think that's also a great way to do it. It's just your preference. It does, it does cost a little bit more, but it's probably worth it for this type of event. Okay. Okay, well, thank you so much. It was so nice meeting you. Thank you so much for coming. Alright, bye.